Father, we bless and thank you for another beautiful and awesome day that you have given to us. Bless you that we can gather to worship, to adore, to love, to listen to your word, to long for you, to love you, to listen, to lean on you and to obey you in all things. We bless you. We thank you. We bless you for your love, for your faithfulness, for your goodness, for your mercy, which is new every morning. Lead us, guide us, shepherd us, heal us, revive us and restore us to fullness of life. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Let's open our Bibles this morning to Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6 and we are on verse 14. Matthew chapter 6 and we are on verse 14 and 15. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. As you forgive, you will be forgiven. The next verse says, If you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you your trespasses. We are called to be merciful. We are called to love. We are called to give. And when the giving comes, if you see, the Bible says, they give and it will be given to you, pressed down and overflowing. Before that, it says, do not judge and you will not be judged. Doesn't mean you are not to judge. You can judge, but judge righteously. Because the Bible says you can judge, you are supposed to discern, but judge righteously and don't hold anything in your heart. See, the whole thing is, don't become bitter, don't become grudgeful, don't become revengeful, don't hold back that love that is due to others. Let our righteousness not be hypocritical, but be genuine, be true. And that's why the Bible says, what does the Bible say? Be true to one another. Speak to one another. And before the sun goes down, try and settle things with one another. The reason in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25, Therefore put away lying. Why is there therefore put away lying? Because before that it says, See, listen to the word before that. And that you put on the new man. You have put on a new man. Which is in the likeness and image of Christ Jesus. Because power has been given to you. Strength is provided to you. Grace is coming your way. So there is an ability, strength given by God for you to change. Because on our own we cannot do it. Amen. On our own we cannot do it. So we have to ask, seek and look for help from Jesus. Putting on the new man. That is grace given by God to us. I am no longer the same. The power of God is given to me. The promises of God has been given to me. And Peter goes on to say divine, divine strength is given to you. Say divine strength. And to forgive, you need that grace, ability and strength from God. And that's the reason. Don't hold anything against anybody. Vengeance is mine. See, God says vengeance is mine. You don't hold things against people. You let go. Forgive them. Don't be bitter. That's why it says, no, when you come to the altar to pray, if your brother has anything against you, first go, settle, talk. And if he's willing to forgive, let go. But you don't hold anything against him or her. Because in the end, you will become bitter. You will become grudgeful. You will become resentful. Which the Lord, I'm sure, doesn't want us to be having that kind of a spirit. We may disagree with people. We may not agree with people, but still we are constantly called to search, to examine our hearts that we are always right before God. Amen? So why am I different? Why am I new? Why am I a new creation? Because I am walking in the likeness of Jesus Christ. Now when Paul says there in the 25th, uh, 25th verse, therefore put away, put away lying, put away anger, don't hold that anger 
before the sun goes down settle things why why does he say because if you see the 17th verse of Ephesians chapter 4 read Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17 read Zevi this I say therefore listen and testify in the Lord this I say therefore and testify in the Lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk you're not like them why why you're not like them because you have received the truth you have got understanding and now you have also received through the understanding given by God your mind is no longer going to be like that but you have been renewed you have been made new you have Jesus speaking to you and teaching you and enabling you therefore therefore you will not hold anything against anyone therefore not on your own strength because God is doing something in you please read Zevi this I say therefore and testify in the Lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk in the futility of their mind listen having their understanding darkened why being alienated from the life of God got it there is a reason why people are like this because they are alienated from the life of God but not you not me we are not alienated from the life of God Jesus came to give life and life in all its fullness either there is or there isn't simple either there is life or there isn't life there is no midway I have to acknowledge yes I'm holding on to my old self I'm holding on to my old nature I'm holding on to my old way of life if this is new and it is true as the word is true Jesus is true his life is true then I need to go there every day and say come help me Lord deal with this I am darkened with unforgiveness I am darkened with bitterness I am darkened with ways that are unclean and unholy and unacceptable to you help me Lord amen ask ask and I am sure grace comes strength comes you are given the ability to see the way God sees a situation the way God is seeing and helping you to see in and according to his living word see you receive that understanding you are given that grace you are enabled to see and therefore see therefore you put off the old nature because Jesus is teaching you amen Come with me to the 18th verse. Read Zavia having their understanding darkened. Being alienated from the life of God. Remember being alienated from the life of God. Because of the ignorance. That because is of? The ignorance. Because of? Ignorance. Because of? Ignorance. Because of ignorance. Keep that in mind. Okay then? Because of the blindness of their heart. Because of blindness of their? But not you. You are not blind. You are not ignorant. You are very well aware of the resurrected life of Jesus that is at work in you. So you cannot afford to be like that. You cannot afford to be unforgiving. You cannot afford to be bitter. You cannot afford to be grudgeful. You cannot afford to, uh, you know, not love a person. As God wants you to love because of his love for you. Amen. He will give you the ability and grace. He will enable me. And that's the reason he goes on to say why you are not like them please listen to the 20th verse read but but you have not so learned Christ you have not so learned Jesus Christ they are ignorant yes I agree so they can afford to be like that they are blinded in their hearts but you have not so learned that way you were like that but you have been sanctified you have been justified you have been brought near you have been made a new creation you have been adopted in God's family now you are sons and daughters beloved holy acceptable to God in Christ Jesus amen yeah so that is the nature that we need to seek ask for every day 
by learning to put off the old way yeah and learning to walk in the holy spirit well learning to live by the holy spirit learning to be led by the holy spirit of god and asking god to open my spiritual eyes to give me the grace enable me strengthen me instruct me and lead me every day in the ways of jesus christ amen ask it's a life given to us life is given to us see every day life comes to us in and through god the holy spirit and i need to go i need to go to the living god every day and seek the grace strength that enables me to live his life every day amen no longer can i be ignorant and say yeah but that's how i am that's how you were god will enable god will strengthen god will equip you why does the bible say in philippians 2:13 for it is god who is at work in you to do his pleasure through you see he is at work and you know what is the next verse stop grumbling stop grumbling see god is at work stop grumbling god is at work stop stop all those things why because god has made you a light to people around you amen see god is at work and so god enables us to forgive as he forgives you forgive as he gives you give as he pours his love you give love to others amen he gives he enables he will change your heart you cannot afford to be ignorant and when i'm saying this please see that word there what paul says but you are not so you have learned from jesus christ amen you remember when paul was ignorant paul was ignorant to the grace of god paul was ignorant to the righteousness of god paul was ignorant to the ways of god he was holding on to the law he was holding to self righteousness he was holding to he who he was where he came from that is why he stood there no when stephen was being stoned see yeah you have to catch all these guys and put them behind bars give me a letter i will go till he met grace until that love was poured and his ignorance went his eyes opened then he came to know the truth of what is what is the righteousness of god and his righteous ways and then he understands the way of the cross he understands the life that was sacrificed he understands what it means to have jesus as redeemer savior of his soul and that's why he says what does he say why did christ save me because i was a chief sinner and what does christ do to me and in me and through me anybody why was i saved what does paul say why was i saved so that god will make me a pattern for others to believe in him come with me 1 timothy i'll show you please see 1 timothy chapter 1 timothy chapter 1 please say verse 13 onwards read although although i was formerly a blasphemer listen a persecutor yeah and an insolent man yeah but i obtained mercy why because i did it ignorantly in unbelief say ignorantly ignorantly Correct? that's exactly what he is telling there they are ignorant but not you because christ light shines on you because christ life is at work in you so you have to put on the new man by faith every day you cannot afford to be ignorant because you have the word of god you have the living savior teaching you you have the power and the gift of god the holy spirit who is at work through you so you cannot afford to be like that i was like that once upon a time paul says please see i was ignorant in unbelief but now read and the grace of our lord was exceedingly abundant listen with faith and love which are in christ jesus and so this is a faithful saying listen and 
and worthy of all acceptance yeah that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners yeah of whom I am chief and now please listen to the 16th verse however for this reason I obtain mercy why did I obtain mercy that in me ha huh. first Jesus Christ might show all long suffering ha huh. as a pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life amen 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 so god is going to show an insolent man angry man a man who is self righteous proud god is going to work through him and show patience kindness love forgiveness tolerance long suffering see humility christ is at work amen christ is at work jesus is still alive and jesus is still at work in us amen if we are willing to see the truth if we are willing to learn the truth if we are willing to tell him every day no longer do i want to be ignorant to your ways i want your truth i want your grace in my life i want your love being poured in my heart every day and you will see you will see the grace the love the mercy of jesus touching your heart and transforming you amen ask i don't want to be like this lord i don't want to i want you to work in me and through me amen so the effect of jesus teaching us come back to that verse ephesians chapter 4 verse 20 read zavia yeah brother but you have not so learned christ if indeed please listen if indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in jesus christ if you have heard jesus and if he is teaching you then what happens lying goes stealing goes corrupt talk goes yeah that's exactly therefore you are a new man because jesus is teaching you and he is imparting his grace his love his truth in your spirit therefore you learn to put off the old man because you want to be like the new man you want to be more and more like jesus amen please see read verse 20 21 22 but you have not so learned christ yeah if indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him yeah as the truth is in jesus yeah that you put off concerning your former conduct listen the old man which grows corrupt yeah according to the deceitful lust and then he goes on to say please read and be and be renewed in the spirit of your mind listen and that you put on the new man yeah? which was created according to god in true righteousness and holiness amen amen therefore put off lying therefore put off anger therefore forgive before the sun goes down therefore do not steal see the words there therefore and then you come to verse 29 read let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth yeah therefore because jesus is teaching me therefore no corrupt words will come out of my mouth i will be careful even if things come out i will have the humility to go and say i'm sorry for the way i spoke yeah forgive me for my rude behavior forgive me for the way i insult forgive me for the way i humiliate forgive me for the way i put you down forgive me for the way i speak forgive i i do struggle but i know i need grace and love and strength and truth of god in my life amen so i will go to jesus again and again and i will go to my brother and sister again and again and say as you journey with me help me amen ask ask and you will see that grace that strength that forgiveness and i need to forgive and not hold things against others also please read the 29th verse let no let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth listen but what is good for necessary edification yeah that it may impart grace to the hearers and please see now and do not grieve the holy spirit of god by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption Why? redemption how do i grieve the holy spirit please read let all bitterness all bitterness wrath wrath anger anger clamor clamor and evil speaking can you see loud quarreling clamor means loud quarreling 
shouting yeah let all this thing go this is not this is very this is not a christian way of living this is not a christian way of living this is not how uh, you know christ wants us to live please see why because he is giving us the truth he is teaching us the true righteousness and he is telling us walk in this truth i will give you the ability i will give you the strength my son my daughter ask and you will receive and please see the next verse read let all bitterness wrath anger clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and now listen to the next verse read and be kind to one another ha huh. tender hearted yeah forgiving one another even as god in christ forgave you amen 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 as god forgave you you forgive see another therefore read now therefore therefore be imitators of god yeah. as dear children got it therefore why imitate god because he has imparted strength and grace just imitating on your own strength is not possible let's be honest at the most you know 40 days <laughs> now it's going on after easter everything will change <laughs> 40 days i'm not going to be angry don't, don't don't want all that i'll get angry i'll i'll eat what i want but please god ongoing i'm asking for help i'm not going to set times i'm not going to set dates and every new year also the same thing happens every advent every uh, you know uh, like the, these next days these next days no not these every day when i get up this is the day that you have made <laughs> teach me to rejoice in you give me the ability and grace today is the day th that i need you the most because tomorrow i don't know help me lord today that's all and leave and now walk by grace walk you know keeping the truths of god's word before your eyes and ask the holy spirit of god to strengthen you equip you when you falter fail immediately correct yourself there and there and walk again get up walk get up walk get up walk you will see every day the the grace ability and the strength and the truth coming to your heart forgive forgive don't hold any bitterness don't be malicious don't insult don't speak like this don't be rude god will keep on giving you and me the grace amen come back to the 32nd verse of the fourth chapter of ephesians ephesians and be kind to one another tender hearted forgiving one another even as god in christ jesus forgave, forgave you amen when you receive forgiveness you can give forgiveness when you receive love you can give love what did jesus speak about the parable you remember that wicked servant he was forgiven but he goes out and holds somebody who actually has very little to give him he puts him in prison and then the lord tells come in matthew chapter 18 please see verse 32 then his master read zavia yeah 32 brother yeah then his master after he had called him yeah said to him what did the master said to the wicked servant you wicked servant yeah I forgave you all the debt because you begged me. Yeah? Should you asked me for forgiveness, I gave it to you. Listen to the next verse. Should you not also have had compassion on your fellow servant? What is the word? Compassion. Be compassionate to people. Be compassionate to people. Be patient with them. Be kind to them. Be generous to people around you. it's so difficult for you to change then it's all the more difficult for them also to change no seriously it's so difficult for me to change then yeah okay theek hai be forgiving yeah and ask for forgiveness when you know you have done something wrong when you have said something wrong give and it will be given forgive one another love one another be patient with one another be kind to one another god in christ jesus forgives me my sins and i know the blood of jesus cleanses me and places me in a place of righteousness so i go to the lord every day in prayer ask him for the grace and strength and ability and i also learn to forgive others as god has forgiven me amen please see the verse there read zavia should you not also 
have had compassion on your fellow servant yeah just as i had pity on you yeah and his master was angry and delivered him to the torturers yeah until he should pay all that was due to him then now please listen to the next verse so my heavenly father also will do to you if each of you from his heart from his heart from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses got it learn to forgive learn to forgive learn to work in the inside with the holy spirit and the living word of god you know examining checking seeing praying asking for ability asking for strength see the way i think is my thinking correct is my way of seeing things correct am i am i you know allowing god's ways to rule govern my heart my mind have i allowed god's word to be in my heart so that i may not sin against him or people ask and let the word seep and sink deep inside and let the word take root let the word and the power of god the holy spirit bear fruit in us and through us amen see let 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 the holy spirit lead us every day and as we are guided as we are strengthened as we are equipped we learn to just forgive we learn to forgive we learn to be patient we learn to be kind we learn to be compassionate we learn to walk knowing uh, that this life is so short and if we are going to just be like this it, it life is just moving every day we are sojourners pilgrims and you know what peter says even if people say wrong things about you let it be leave it there all judgment will happen there it's okay but you don't hold things you walk praising worshiping blessing healing and you know doing good to others because god is at work in you amen come i'll show you that verse 1 peter please see 1 peter chapter 2 please see 1 peter chapter 2 please see verse 10 listen why are we special people read who once were not a people but we were I'm... once not a people we always say no i am a royal priesthood i am a holy nation i am set apart by god yeah but once we were not a people but now please see but are now the people of god yeah now listen who had not obtained mercy yeah but now have obtained mercy so beloved i beg you as sojourners listen and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lusts yeah which war against the soul yeah now listen having your conduct honorable among the gentiles yeah be honorable among people and around you why that when they speak against you as evil doers yeah they may by your good works which they observe glorify god in the day of visitation amen amen say even if people are saying things it's okay don't 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 waste your time arguing and justifying and uh, you continue continue wherever you have to speak how much you have to speak do it fearfully do it with love do it with grace leave more than that you cannot do anything unless god opens eyes see unless god opens minds and uh, what we need to do is gracefully walk patiently walk lovingly walk in the very person of christ jesus amen by the power and working of god the holy spirit in us forgive forgive god you have been compassionate to me i will be compassionate to them god you have been loving to me i will be loving god you have forgiven me i will forgive god i mean sometimes i wonder paul who began the church in corinth later being told no we don't want you we have other pastors here <laughs> paul imagine what all paul would have gone through he write to them are i opened my heart to you i took from other churches i gave you and this is the way you deal with me all he says but he says i can't stop loving you i can't stop loving you that's his word i'll never stop loving you then paul says no nobody was with me everybody left me but what does he say but yet i don't hold anything against them why because god was with me i don't hold anything against with them the lord stood with me amen and that is the key the lord stood with me set your mind on things above not on things on this world don't waste your life set your mind every day on things above and be ruled and governed 
by heaven's ways, heaven's word, heaven's strength, and heaven's glory at work in you. Amen? Every day. God is at work. Don't, don't get caught up with the earthly, fleshy, lustful, ungodly ways. No. Don't get caught up with those things. Wait on God and patiently see His will, His work, His word going through you and me every day. Amen? That's the reason the Bible says in Romans chapter 12. Please see. Romans chapter 12. Read verse 14. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. And verse 17. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regards for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as it depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Live? Live? Live peaceably with all men. As much as it depends on you. As far as it's possible. Ask God for the grace, ability, strength. You want to, you know, you go to the Lord every day and pray. But don't hit back. No evil for evil. And see what's the next verse. Beloved, do not avenge yourself, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the... Who will repay? I need to forgive. I don't need to be evil. I don't need to be like others. I need to trust God for him to do what he has to do. Amen? I trust the Lord. At times I would just think, no, John is there, everybody's gone on the, on the island of Emmaus, what will happen, what exactly is the future? And then God says, you come up here. And when he goes up, what does he say? God is still seated on the throne. Everything is in control, don't worry. <laughs> you may feel it's chaotic down. Everybody is gone, everybody is dead. What is happening here? What is happening there? What is happening here? How will we manage? Come up here. And when you come up here, you see, oh, I saw him and I fainted. <laughs> That's it. That's the beauty. Set your mind on things above. Not on things here. Because this will pass away. Only that is eternal. Amen? That is eternal. And that eternal life has been given to you to see the way as he sees things. Amen? Ask for grace. Ask for strength. Ask for ability. You and I may not be in control of things. And that's the time it becomes very fearful. <laughs> I'm not in control. What will happen? Things are not in my hand. Yeah? Others are controlling. Yeah, it's okay. Let anyone have control. Ultimately, God will control everything. For God, it just takes a matter of tuck. Things have changed. Season has changed. Time has changed. Everything has changed. That's it. That's it. It just takes one moment and things change. Why? Because God is in control. So what do we do? Go to this God every day in prayer. Amen? I forgive. I will not be bitter. I will not hold anything against. I will continue to walk doing good as far as it's with me. Amen? Bless and you'll be blessed. Bless. We were called to do things, no? What? Love, pray, bless, do good. Four things you remember today. Love, pray, bless, do good. But love nahi aayega na? To pehla okay. I'll pray. Give me the love. Lord, help me to do good, Lord. See? Help me to do good. And help me to bless. 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 I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen? I release you in Jesus' name. I forgive you in Jesus' name. May my heart be given the grace, ability and strength to love you in Jesus' name. Amen? Ask and you will. Ask and you will. Ask and you will. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. Ours is not to take revenge. No, no, no. Leave it, leave it. All those things you leave. God is in control. Amen? 
just see these three verses before we come to pray mark 11 24 to 26 read therefore i say to you yeah whatever things you ask when you pray believe that you receive them yeah and you will have them listen and whenever you stand praying listen carefully whenever you stand praying if you have anything against anyone yeah forgive him see what must you do forgive forgive him then that your father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses amen amen 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 8 for men we all have anger issues <laughs> okay listen I desire therefore ah. that the men pray everywhere ah. lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting without wrath and doubting can you see two one more one Peter because unforgiveness is going to affect our prayer life 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 7 3 verse 7 3 husbands likewise dwell with them with understanding yeah giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessel ah. and and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers may not be hindered that your prayers may not be hindered prayers should not be hindered don't allow your prayers to be hindered again and see the next verse finally all of you be of one mind yeah having compassion for one another see the word is always compassion why weren't you compassionate i was compassionate to you i expect you to be compassionate to the other person amen be compassionate be loving be patient be kind when you stand in prayer if you have anything against anyone or if anyone has anything against you ask god for grace strength so that you and i will forgive amen don't hold things against anybody else walk in liberty yeah i think that's the verse one minute james yeah it's in james yeah james chapter 2 verse yeah james chapter 2 verse 12 read from 11 james chapter 2 verse 11 for he who said do not commit adultery yeah also said do not murder then now if you do not commit adultery but you do murder ah. you have become a transgressor of the law then so speak and so do as those who will be judged by the law of liberty law of liberty law of liberty and what does it say now for judgment is without mercy ah. to the one who has shown no mercy but mercy triumphs over judgment amen what triumphs mercy mercy triumphs and mercy triumphed at the cross amen mercy triumphed at the cross we were forgiven because of grace because of love because of he taking our place undeserved unmerited we don't deserve that grace but mercy came our way in the person of christ jesus amen so mercy always triumphs and that's why love covers all sin so let mercy come our way every day new tender loving mercy of jesus christ open your heart set your mind on things above and look to the lord every day and say lord be merciful to me be compassionate to me be loving to me be patient to me that i will do the same to others amen ask and you will receive you will receive you will receive because he will give you and me the grace amen let us pray take a few moments to just be quiet take a few moments to reflect take a few moments to just recollect and ask the holy spirit of god to give grace help to see the state of my heart the state that i am in right now if there is anything 
that is unclean, unholy, evil, bitter. If there is bad mouthing, abusiveness, hatred, frustration, disappointment that expresses itself in anger towards people around me. And if things go out of control at times, I struggle, then I need help from the Lord. I need to see the way as God sees things. Because I'm called to live at peace with everyone around me, as far as it's possible. And the second part of that verse is, Knowing that vengeance is not mine, but it belongs to the Lord. I'm called to do good and not evil. I'm called to forgive, be compassionate, love. But on my own strength, I cannot do. Remember the words that Paul says. People who are ignorant to this fact and truth don't have Jesus teaching them. But we have the Holy Spirit of God to teach us the ways of Jesus and to speak the truth in our hearts that we need to be honest, sincere, looking at the state of our heart, examining before the day ends and allowing the Holy Spirit to minister to us, to deal with that anger, to deal with all that clamor to deal with the way I talk, the way I deal with people, and to give me the grace to l not be bitter, angry, resentful, hating, unforgiving towards people around me, but to walk in love. And to walk in love, I need to pray and seek that love from above. I need to seek that grace. Help me, O Holy Spirit of God. Help me, Jesus. On my own, I cannot. We come before you, Lord. Even when I come to the table of the Lord, I need to examine myself, search, see if there is any sin that is causing me to be sick. And unforgiveness, bitterness, anger, resentment, hatred can even affect not only my spirit, but even my mind and my body. Ask the Holy Spirit of God to help us so that we are released by the truth that He imparts to our spirit, that He enables us, He strengthens us with divine nature, strength, ability, courage, faith that is required to walk every day in forgiveness, in love, in godly repentance. Tell Him, help me Lord, help me. On my own, I cannot do anything. Tell him, Jesus, without you, I can do nothing. God, our loving Father, we stand in prayer, in need of forgiveness, in need of grace, strength, in need of courage and faith to put your word into practice. On our own, we cannot. But by the truth that you give us in and through your word and your Holy Spirit, we will be able to. To put off the old nature, to put off the old man, to put off that old woman, and to walk in newness of life. Help us to set our mind on things above every day so that we are renewed in the inside by the power and working of your spirit. 
forgive us lord and help us to forgive help us to forgive help us to live at peace with people around us help us to pray for them help us to bless them help us to do good to them and as you continue working through us help us to love them as you love them prepare my heart prepare my mind to receive you and your living word and the power of your spirit more and more in my life jesus even as i come to the table as i eat and drink of the bread and the wine remind me of your love of your sacrifice of your breaking of yourself for me and help me to do the same for people around me by being patient kind loving long suffering and above all being faith god a loving father we just bow ourselves to the cross of jesus christ we thank you that we receive life in all its fullness because of the obedience because of the emptying of jesus on the cross thank you father for this life that you have given to us thank you father that we can come time and again to jesus your beloved son in him and through him we receive forgiveness receive grace strength power courage faith and all the ability that is there in christ is given to us to live the life that you have called us to teach us to worship as we listen to your word may true worship rise up in us that we will worship you love you listen to you lean on you learn from you and obey you every day in everything that you have called us to father in jesus bless each one of us with the divine promises divine strength divine nature that is the power and working of god the holy spirit in us that holy spirit god almighty will help us teach us lead us strengthen us equip us and that we will learn to be sensitive to him and not grieve him with our old nature but lean on him and learn and be shepherded by him every day holy spirit god bless each one of us present bless our family members bless our loved ones wherever they are right now bring them under the mantle under the shed shelter and the shadow of almighty god the father bless us lead us teach us govern us rule us reign over us o holy spirit of god and guide our steps every day bless this bread bless this wine help us to remember the sacrifice help us to remember the life that was given to us that we also will do the same to others as we break in the hands of jesus every day let that brokenness allow his life to flow in us and through us to people around us that they may see more and more of him and less and less of us thank you that we partake in your life jesus thank you that we are your co-workers thank you that we are your sent out ones thank you that we are your witnesses and above all thank you that we are sons and daughters in you jesus adopted into the divine family bless us as we eat and drink of this bread and wine may we remember may we remember the life that we are partaking in and become more and more like you 
in thought, word and deed. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Let's eat and drink of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for what we have prayed. We know you have heard and you will answer it in your will and in your time and in your ways in our life. And this is for your glory, for your honor and for your name's sake. Jesus be lifted high in us and through us and among us. For all glory, all honor is yours, Father. All glory, all honor is yours, Jesus. And all glory, all honor is yours, O Holy Spirit, God Almighty. To live your life to the fullest that you have called us to. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Peace be with us. Amen.